Hey friends and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today we're going to be going and checking on my bees. If you didn't know, I have two beehives that I got last year and I have winterized them which consisted of putting on some roofing wrap and an insulator and some extra sugar patties in there for them. And so I've just been occasionally checking on them on the nice days and currently right now it is sunny, it is beautiful blue skies so we're going to go check on our hives. Fingers crossed it is so difficult to keep bees high bees alive in the winter it's just hard on them so I am really hoping that the bees are surviving thriving and doing well my last check was about two weeks ago I'm not doing anything invasive I'm just going out seeing what's going on at their entrance seeing if I can hear them because you can hear their hum because right now they're like curled up in a ball in the middle of their hive and humming so let's head out to the hives and see and while we're on our way to the bees, let's stop and look at the garden. I am so excited. My bees loved my garden last year. My main focus last year was not my garden though, just because I had so much stuff to do around the farm. I wanted to get to know the land and I had so much garbage to clean up and I really just jumped in with a dairy cow and chickens and bees. So this year though, I am taking more time to dedicate towards my garden. I really wanna cultivate an environment that my bees love. So lavender and just other plants that they are going to be so happy they don't have to go far to forage for pollen and nectar and they can just have a happy little environment here because it is winter I do not have to have my bee suit on any of my bee gear because obviously it's cold and my bees are not out they're not swarming around so there's not going to be a risk of me getting stung so I'm just in a coat and my sweater we have arrived at my hives and as you can see, it's a makeshift barrier around this. Last year, cows got out that were grazing on the property and they were so destructive. Beef cattle are so destructive. So I, in the midst of a hurry, is like middle of the night, they were out. I like put up this makeshift barrier, called the farmer and said, hey, come get your cows. So that's what these are still doing out. Um, I am planning to fence off like in uh, my garden and include the bees inside the fencing. So bears can't get to them, cows can't get to them and they are safe. As you can see right here, this is a good sign. You may be thinking, how is that a good sign? There's so many dead bees. That means that this hive is active and it is getting out the bees that are dying and pushing them to the exit. As silly as that may sound, I am so happy to see all of these dead bees right here because that tells me that they are still alive, they're still doing well, and they have active bees that are taking care of the health of the hive by getting out the dead bees. I'm just going to scoop these to the side. We can take them to my chickens and see if my chickens want to eat them. I have taken the bees to my chickens before and they have not wanted to eat them, which is interesting because chickens like to eat bugs. All of my bees right there. But this is a good sign, as counterintuitive as that may seem. Going into the winter, this was my stronger hive. And just to note, I have Carniolan honeybees. They are really mild, temperament kind of honeybee. I loved them. They were just, I, I got such a good vibe from them. They were just sweet and I only got stung once and that was because I had to treat them for mites and I was really invasive inside of their hive and they didn't like that so I got stung, completely understand, but I am so happy to know that these bees are doing well and I'm gonna put my ear against this, see if I can hear them humming. I can hear them humming, which is a good sign. And it makes sense, it's a sunny, beautiful day. So their hive is probably getting warm. They're buzzing around and that makes me so happy. This girl right here looks like she's alive. I'm not gonna disturb her. Um, on sunny days, they will go out on little voyages. I've seen them buzzing around on other sunny days, but I'm just gonna come back and get these bees here once we check the other hive. There are no dead bees at the entrance. There is no sign of any bees. Um, this is not good. This is not good. You can note the difference with how many bees there are there. And there is nothing here. 
I'm not going to move this. This is an entrance reducer. I'm not going to move it because I don't want the temperature inside the hive to fluctuate. That causes moisture problems. And moisture problems are my biggest problem through winter. So my heart is a little uh, hurt right now because this was the weaker hive going into the winter. So I was hoping, praying that the hive would survive. It was, I never got honey from this hive. I got honey from the other hive. This one just struggled. I don't know why. One hypothesis I had was that this didn't get as much sun as that hive. These are south to north. Um, so I'm thinking maybe if I would have had them east to west, they would have gotten even sun distribution. I treated them both for mites. I mean, they had access to water. They had access to the same sort of resources. So I don't know why my bees have potentially died. Um, I'm a little distraught right now to see nothing at the entrance. Two weeks ago, there was, uh, there was dead bees. Um, but within that two weeks, we had a really just cold, nasty, wet spell. So that moisture and these temperature fluctuations could have taken out my hive. I don't hear anything either. I'm really gutted that this hive may have died. If a hive wasn't gonna survive, I was expecting it to be this one, but it's just its just a bummer because I poured so much into it. And again, again, that's not a guarantee that they were gonna survive. And when I say pour so much into it, like love, my time, doing everything by the book to make sure that they were good, consulting with local beekeepers to seeing when I need to do things, how to do things, Maybe they were just weak at the start. This one was actually the stronger hive and that one was the weaker hive. And then they just somewhere switched to during the summer. And that's why I'm wondering, is it the position that they are in and that this one was north, not south, and they didn't get enough sun? I really love my bees. They are one of my favorite things on the homestead. I'm planning, I'm gonna get more, th I'm gonna get three more beehives. But it's it's common, especially where I live. It's just such a harsh, such a harsh winter is just harsh harsh conditions um kudos to anybody who can make it if you have any tips let me know or any ideas of why they i think they're dead there's nothing at the entrance i even looked in there nothing no bees but i tried my best as you can see i'll show you guys what i did for the winter i'm just going to gather these for my chickens i'm literally just gonna pick them up oops Chick, 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 chickies! Chick, 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 chickies! Well, I guess they don't want to come out and they're being divas. So we'll just go into the coop. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Do you guys want some bees? No? Okay. You would think that the chickens would want to eat the bees, but I guess not. <sighs> So I'm really gutted. I wasn't expecting to lose a hive, but if I did, I was thinking it was gonna be that one. It was literally two weeks, but within that two weeks, like I said, the weather fluctuations, the temperature changes, there was moisture, it rained, it was so yucky. Snow, rain, freezing, warm. So I just don't think that they were ready for that. They were strong enough for that. But who knows, maybe by some miracle, I just, maybe there's some bees still in there and then when spring rolls around, they'll come back. I set them up with so much food. Maybe, I doubt it, but here's the update on the homestead. We lost a hive, you guys. But I'm gonna get three more. Keep you guys posted on that. I'll do another video of bringing them to the homestead. I gotta build another um, bench for them to sit on. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna be getting some carniolans and then carniolan Italian mixes. So we'll see what the temperament is on those, how I like them, and I appreciate you guys watching, spending time with me, and coming along on this journey. Wow, I have learned so much in a year, and this is my first winter with bees, so I'm also learning through this winter and this season. So don't do anything in Gubble and Do. Thank you so much for spending your time with me, coming along. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!